fastest gantry loader on the planet. I'll let you look it up to see if that's true, but that's a rumor I heard. And I have Gabe here today to talk Muratech with me to figure out how we got here. First, let's talk about the gantry. Wow, that thing is flying. Can we talk about the gantry and how it's able to move so quickly? Well, you know, Murata machinery is all about automation throughout other products as well in divisions. But we are here talking about turning and what we do is automate turning to increase throughput and Wait a second, that's not even at 100%. Wait, we're not even at 100% no. right now? No, I oh, think we just set it for up. You. Yeah. I was once a machinist, I can push buttons There still. you go, be careful. <laughs> so now we're at 100%. Yeah, so like you see here, we're standing in front of a twin spindle automated gantry machine. That's all we do at Murata Machinery. So we are all about trying to process parts with low operator input, increasing efficiency, throughput, accuracy, reliability, process robustness. That's what Murata is all about in a nutshell. And that makes sense, but we always have to start somewhere, right? I mean, this thing doesn't just wake up one morning and be zipping around like this. There's no. some engineering that goes into it. There's some years of wisdom, decades of technology and yeah. R&D. How did we get here? Well, if you're old school like me. And me. Tony, you're kind of young. Thank you. You may remember the name Warner Swayze. In the 70s, Murata Machinery Japan and Warner Swayze partnered together to make chuckers for the Asian market. In the timeline wise, in the 80s, we started developing what's called the twin spindle chucker, what you're seeing right now. So we make the twin spindle chucker in many variations for mostly an OP10, OP20 process. Finish a part complete on one platform. Go to 1986 and Murata invented the first gantry loader. So automated turning with an overhead integrated gantry is in Murata's DNA. And we started that in 1986. So we're going on what? 30 years? Wow. Building automated turning machines. This is the evolution of that 1986 model with a super high speed carbon fiber reinforced light mass gantry to move payload very fast. So this particular machine, we can move two, three kilogram parts or six and a half pounds in our, in holding it in our hand. Man, I hope the cameras can even keep up with the frames of how fast this thing is going. Gabe, I know another thing you want to talk about when it comes to this twin spindle, this gantry, this machine, is actually the software integration that goes into it as well. Can yeah. we kind of open up and share with the audience what's going on? Yeah, well, unlike a lot of other machines you'll see with this type of setup, an integrated gantry, Murata makes her own gantry, makes the whole machine complete in our Inuyama plant in Japan. But we also use FANUC 30 series controls because we're actually controlling all three items with one controller, meaning one spindle, second spindle, and the gantry. So they're all integrated to one. We do not use, like I see in the industry, is a PLC to drive the gantry. Meaning we're controlling everything, all three drives are incorporated in the back and they're always talking together. One good thing about this is the ability to track parts throughout the process. So we know where parts are at all times with the gantry. Another thing that we'll talk about, I hope later on the conversation, is what else we bring to this machine. So we're talking here about just turning a part or turning and some live tool work, but we want to add in-feed process integration and then post-process integration. You know, whether you want to gauge parts, package them, whatever. This is something that Murata Machinery in Charlotte brings to the table. We engineer solutions. Wherever you touch your part, we're going to handle it here in Charlotte. You know, Gabe, I'm, I'm listening to you talk, and definitely I want to get into, as you say, the beginning, the end. We're obviously measuring. I see Renishaw over there. I see Karen Engineering here, making sure everything on the inside is going mm -hmm. well, the raw parts going in from the beginning. But something else I notice is there is a whole lot of space around us, and we're both fans of automation in general. Yeah. Robots, cobots, bar feeds, but we're also a big fan of saving space in a machine shop Absolutely. and saving time, and I see this thing flying, and on top of that, this is vertically integrated, which is saving me a lot of real estate space. Can we talk about that real quick? Yes, absolutely. So one thing you don't see, and I have to cheat because I've seen videos on your website, what you're not seeing is a person here loading parts or an automated system that you buy aftermarket. This is a vertically integrated by Murata gantry system that loads. And now, the cool thing about this is you have anything go on in the process, let's say you have a bird nest and you want to clean it out. If I had a cage here with a device loading, I'd have to get around that and get into the machine. Here, we stop the process, we open the door, clear the, the, the inconvenience, close the door and keep going. So, 
Not only that, but these machines lend themselves for a really good line automation. So oftentimes, in a turning part, we are op 10 and 20. If you're making a round part, you're pretty much establishing the axis of center line on your first operations. Then it might go to a hob, a mill, a heat treat, whatever. This line format allows us to integrate multiple machines in a line. You have a good aisle for walking, but not for people that stand here, for sure. The machine's gonna run by itself. Yeah, not only is it zipping back and forth, but everything you just said perfectly said, Gabe, really well done. Now, what I wanna close this conversation out with is I understand you guys to be truly, I mean truly, a solutions-based company. Yep. You have over 100 machines that sit here ready to be integrated based on a person's or a company's issues or problems. Yes. Your entire building just about in this area is a turnkey center and not a showroom. So let's talk about being solutions-based and what that means for the people watching. Yeah. Well, I just happened to be last week, I was at a customer's, I won't name them, but they wanted to just automate a first and second op process. But what I went and asked them was, what are your other problems? So they have a batching solution that they needed. They need to maintain parts consistently in a batch and not move them. They need a router to go with it. So we're going to provide them a solution that says, from infeed, through the process of the machine, through gauging, putting the parts back in a pallet for them, and then let them carry that pallet throughout the other processes downstream. In that case, the customer didn't know he needed to do more than turning automated. He thought that, hey, I'll just get an operator out of the cell because I can't find labor, and you can't find labor, can you? So we, we're solving that problem, but now I saw other issues in there, and with our custom engineer solutions out of here, Charlotte, North Carolina, and our staff of engineers, control resources, we can build whatever touches their part, in-feed, out-feed, and post-processing too. Absolutely incredible, Gabe. I have one last question for you before yeah. we close out and just say from beginning to end, everything yes. is being taken care of with speed, vertically integrated with mm -hmm. a company that's been around for a long time. You're celebrating 50 years here in the U.S., but the company's been around even longer than that. Last question, is this the first interview you've done like this? Uh, like this, yes. Because you are better than me, so take my microphone. I'm done. <laughs> no, you are, you're better at my job than I am. <laughs>